Welcome to the Training and Doctrine Command, Virtual Op4 Academy. This visualization depicts an Op4 mechanized infantry company detachment executing a disrupt mission against a combined arms battalion. This visualization complements the TRADOC G2's disrupt instructional video and is designed for company level units assigned an Op4 mission during home station training. By the end of this module, you should have an appreciation for the subtask synchronization for a disrupt mission. For clarity, this visualization shows the disrupt being conducted in daylight. Our brigade needs more defensive preparation time in the battle zone to our east. We expect an infantry-heavy combined arms battalion to attack to secure river crossings. Therefore, our mechanized infantry sea debt is tasked to disrupt the Blue Force lead elements and destroy follow-on C2 and logistics systems. Let's review our plan starting with the enemy. The Blue Fort Combined Arms Battalion is most likely to have a mission to seize crossing sites over the river at Phase Line East, and I expect them to attack on both northern and southern routes. Battalion scouts will probably lead to identify our locations and obstacles. Their infantry-heavy company teams were organized to clear obstacles and secure the crossing sites. They'll use supporting armor to punch through defenses to reach our crossing sites. C2 elements, logistics, and the remainder of the battalion will follow on the main effort route. Given these likely avenues of approach and good defensive terrain to the north, we'll fix the blue four in the north and withdraw under pressure to the south to get them to commit their armor team on the southern axis. This should draw their C2 and logistics assets to the southern route so we can destroy them. I want each of you to brief your roles and tasks as you understand them. We'll begin with the security element. My section and the SPF team established Security West of Phase Line West on both Route North and Route South. We'll provide early warning, find their C2 and logistics, and disrupt lead Blue 4 elements with long-range fires. I'll relay reports to the SPF team operating further to the west. On Axis North, I have two squads forward to delay Blue 4 with fires as they cross Phase Line West and draw them into Kill Zone November 1. Third squad should be finished in placing obstacles in mines and prepping positions to fix the Blue 4 and force them to commit on the Southern Axis. As the two forward squads fall back, they'll occupy simple battle positions oriented on November 1 and we become the fixed element. In the south, I have two squads occupying simple battle positions overwatching the Phase Line West Bridge. Further east, I have the affiliated guerrilla section in an ambush position covering Kill Zone Sierra 1 and the dedicated anti tank squad covering Sierra 2. Both kill zones are covered by multiple attack by fire positions. The Sierra 2 bypass routes are mined. From our initial positions, we will withdraw under pressure, portraying a failing defense, to draw the tanks, C2, and logistics to the south. We will then destroy the C2 and logistics systems in Sierra 1 and Sierra 2. We will contain the Blue 4 in Kill Zone Sierra 3 with direct and indirect fires and mines to stop the Blue 4 at Phase Line East. The exploit element occupies a simple battle position on the north axis and is prepared to reinforce the fixing action or attack into kill zones Sierra 2 and 3. The CDET reserve occupies a position northeast of the exploit element position. Support elements occupy positions as indicated to provide supporting fires and air defense coverage for our area. All kill zones and engagement areas are targeted. I will occupy a centralized position in order to command and control the disruption actions. All right, let's get back to our positions. Good luck. With obstacle preparations and final coordination with fire support elements complete, the CDET occupies its positions and continues to improve its camouflage, concealment, and cover. Commander, this is Security Leader. We see two recon IFEs moving toward the north crossing site. The OP on route south reports hearing movement, but doesn't see any vehicles. Roger. Hold direct fire. Engage with indirect fires. Roger. This is Disrupt North. OP reports two IFVs at the north crossing, engaging with indirect fire. This is 
Security leader, two IFEs approaching the south crossing. I have reports of seven or more IFEs and tanks, approximately five kilometers to the west. Roger. Continue to engage the recon element with indirect fires. Report any armor crossing phase line west. Commander, en route north. One reconnaissance vehicle is destroyed, the other is providing security. They are employing smoke. Commander, the armored column is approaching the crossing sites at phase line west. Roger. Report any command and control and or logistics vehicles. All leaders, Blue 4 main body is approaching the north and south crossing sites. This is Disrupt South, security leader. Maintain observation of Blue 4 reconnaissance. The smoke screen is obscuring our vision. This is Disrupt North. OP has visual contact with the armored vehicles moving towards the crossing site. Commander, two recon vehicles have crossed the Route South Bridge. Engaging now. Roger. Break. All elements. Two mech infantry company teams, each with a platoon of tanks, are following the recon. One on route north and one on route south. Commander, this is security leader. Eight IFVs on each route. That makes 16 IFVs and eight tanks. I don't see any C2 or logistics vehicles. Roger. Keep looking. Commander, IFVs crossing Northern Bridge, engaging now. One BMP has been destroyed, taking artillery fire. Roger. Move to your fixed positions. Moving. Commander, engaging IFVs crossing Southern Bridge. One is burning. We see two tanks on the west side. Get indirect fires on them. Withdraw to kill zone Sierra One positions before they can get direct fire shots on you. Roger. Taking artillery fire at my position. Commander, this is security leader. C2 vehicles are spotted at the South Bridge at Phase Line West. Also, fuel and supply trucks five kilometers west of the South Bridge. Roger. Commander, Disrupt South is in position, vicinity, Kill Zone Sierra 2. Blue 4 passing through Kill Zone Sierra 1. All elements. Logistics vehicles are moving towards the south axis. Contain element. Blue 4 company team. Heading to kill zone Sierra 3. Commander, engaging three Blue 4 IFVs, vicinity kill zone November 1. They won't get past us. Good. Support element. Maintain priority fires to the fixed element. Commander, this is security leader. Two IFVs and three other armored vehicles crossed the southern bridge. Fire mission was too late. I think that was their C2 element. Disrupt south. Believe the Blue Force C2 is closing on Sierra 1. Alert your ambush element. Reoccupy one of your four positions with an infantry squad to cover that bridge. Commander, this is Contain Element. Six IFV and four tanks moving toward Kill Zone Sierra 3. Roger. Exploit Element. Once Contain Element makes direct fire contact, move to Kill Zone Sierra 3 and destroy Blue Force from the rear flank. Wilco. Reserve. Move to exploit elements battle position on access north. Roger. Commander, anti-armor element is engaging tank platoon at Sierra 2. Commander, two tanks destroyed. Request permission to move. Roger. Move. Commander, being engaged by one of the remaining tanks. Unable to... Commander, this is Fix Element. Blue 4 tank stopped by the obstacle. Two tanks and one IFV destroyed. One BMP destroyed. Commander, this is Disrupt South. Two Blue 4 IFVs and three other armored vehicles heading toward Kill Zone Sierra 1. 
I believe they are the C2 section. Logistics convoy crossing South Bridge at Phase Line West. Commander, contain element engaging three lead IFVs in kill zone Sierra 3. Two IFVs destroyed. Receiving tank and artillery fire. We need to move or be destroyed. Commander, exploit element engaging two tanks. No effect. Two BMPs destroyed. Tanks are maneuvering to engage the rest of my element. Request permission to disengage. Exploit and detain elements. Disengage. Roger. Moving. Commander, engaged and destroyed two C2 vehicles in kill zone Sierra 1 and two fuel trucks at the bridge. Request permission to withdraw. Roger. Withdraw. Commander, this is Rocket Leader. Taking fire at our location. Displacing to new location. Roger. Commander, two Blue Four tanks and three IFVs have crossed phase line east and are securing the bridge. We have called rocket fire on their position. Continue fires. Brigade is ready to accept battle handover at phase line east. Command, we lost one 107 launcher to artillery fire. We're displacing to alternate firing positions. Roger. The Op 4 has successfully disrupted the attack, and the Blue 4 must now commit additional forces to gain control of Axis South and the bridges, or continue on Axis North. The CDET commander orders the platoons to consolidate and reorganize to prepare for Blue 4 follow on actions. The Op 4 maintains contact with the Blue 4 and moves to alternate or supplemental positions in order to continue the defense. This concludes the Disrupt Visualization Module. You are now familiar with the subtask execution for the Op4 task, Execute Disrupt. The subtask actions apply to both the regular and irregular elements of the hybrid threat. The Op4 task outline and TC7100 series references are available on the Army Training Network web portal. Questions may be directed to the TRADOC G2 Ace Threats Integration Directorate at Fort Leavenworth, Kansas, the Army's responsible official for hybrid threat tactical doctrine. Good luck in your training. Be aggressive and adapt quickly.